Shem, Shem, Shem. Oh baby, this place is a beaut. This is a whole day affair and takes a little planning, but seriously, the view is just staggering. First up, you need one whole day. Two pack lunches and water because you're going to bring a friend and snacks for the chipmunks. Three, good weather, so shoot for late summerish or early fall so that there's not tons of snow or a thunderstorm or anything like that. And four, you need a 4x4. Four four. Well, it doesn't have to be a 4x4, four four, it just needs good clearance. And also bring your sunscreen and bug spray because that's great too. So unfortunately, you do have to leave your mom's Civic at home. There are about eight kilometers of really big cut ditches, so a normal city car will not make it. Or if it does, it'll never quite be the same. But take courage, you have a great personality and you must have made at least one friend who has a truck, right? And they probably just need somebody to invite them to go on a Shem trip. So, let's go to Shem! Mount Shem is the snaggletooth looking rock just over Chilliwack. It's about a nine kilometer hike and four and a half hours round trip. The hike is kind of broken up into three parts. There's a 15 minute initial hike to the mountain meadow. I can't adequately express the smells of the wild strawberries or the blueberries in the meadow, but it's, it's amazing. It would make Maria from The Sound of Music jealous. The hills are alive with the sound of music. The songs they have sung for a thousand years. Sorry guys. Swimming in Spoon Lake is refreshing to say the least, but save that for the way down because it's as cold as the forgotten blueberries in your Oma's deep freeze. The entire hiking is breathtaking. It's not like you have to hike forever to a lookout. The entire hike is a lookout. So always be looking around. You have to catch your breath because every direction takes your breath away. There's Lady Peak, Baker, Ad Infinium. And when you get to the top, wow, there's just a, a feast for the eyes. After about 40 minutes-ish, you come to a plateau for the last part of the ascent. I've been there when there's snow and when there's this little puddle thing. So it really depends on the time of year when you go. After about another 30 minutes, you'll reach the pinnacle, the zenith, the proverbial epiphany of your uphill toil. Welch Peak looks just like out of a Swiss travel magazine. As Rory Stevenson once penned, I saw the dimpling river pass, it be the sky's blue looking glass. The dusty roads go up and down, with people trampling into town. If I could find a higher tree, farther and farther I would see to where the grown-up river slips into the sea among the ships. And you can even see pick apart for the cheap replacement parts to fix your Civic that you brought up. You can up your Instagram game too, if that's your shtick. The scenery at Angel's Bowl is majestically glorious. Just remember that humans can't fly, so if you're human, please don't try. It makes for awkward picnic conversations for those left behind. So take the Chilliwack Lake Road and then take your first left past the Ford Mountain Correctional Institution on Foley Lake Forestry Service Road and drive for about two kilometers. You will cross a bridge and then turn left and go another two kilometers. After that, turn right up Chipmunk Creek Forestry Service Road. Just follow this road for another eight kilometers. So gear up, get out, and adventure on. <laughs> 